Hi, this is Anna Rose from Beehive Quilt Shop, and I'm going to show you the buttons you need to press to make a patch. We showed a customer how to do this for her choir robes, um, and uh, I'm just going to show you how easy it is. So um, you can just hit um, embroidery, and then I'm using a cross that I just drew really quick in my design center right here. So you can get any logo or patch, any anything you want to turn into, you can make a patch. We're just going to hit set. And then I'm going to go through and hit edit and I'm going to hit the shield button and that's instantly going to make a patch. The luminaire is smart enough. It actually remembers the last time I did this. Um, I made it as big as possible. Um, so you can alter this and the design will switch. You can see right here it's switching and getting closer. So that looks great. So then I'm going to hit OK. And then um, I'm going to hit this no sew button, which is new. And I'm gonna tell it that I don't want it to sew this cross um, because I just want it to be the patch. And then I'm gonna save this as memory to the machine. So you can tell um, that now that cross that was in the center has gone away because now it's gonna easily be able to embroider um, just the applique patch. So now when I go under embroidery, I have the placement stitch and then I have the tack down stitch and then I have the final satin stitch to finish making my um, patch. So this is really great. Um, what she's going to be doing is going through and I'm um, embroidering a whole bunch of choir robes so she's going to make a lot of the um, her logo and put it um, on patch fabric that matches the choir robe and then she's going to um, do an applique um, patch or badge on each of those choir robes with the new logo on it. So that's as easy as it is to make and save a duplicate file of just the applique patch. So um, this is great for any time that you're wanting to make a whole bunch of a certain logo and then applique them onto garments um, or bags um, easily and efficiently. So that is our tutorial.